Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the What's Cooking Wednesday here at Big John TV. Yep. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we are in the kitchen again. We're getting ready to cook. But before we start, start all of that, make sure you click the like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And if you really enjoy this video, make sure you share it with your friends. All right, so we are going... South? South of the border. There you go. We are going festive. Cinco de Mayo is coming up here. Um... Clearly not like a worldwide celebration. No. Do you guys even know what Cinco de Mayo is? Mm, good question. Okay. So as you know, we're in California. So Cinco de Mayo is actually a big deal here. Yeah. We have a large population of Mexican Americans. So, so the actual legit, okay, Cinco de Mayo or the 5th of May is the holiday that celebrates the date of the Mexican Army's 1862 victory over France at the Battle of Puebla during the Franco-Mexican War. Ooh, we're getting not, smart here. It's not that big of a thing in Mexico, but it's more of a thing in America. Right. That have Mex have, especially places that have large populations of Mexicans. That's what I was going to say. Which California very much does. Yep. And it's funny because growing up, a lot of the misconceptions I heard was that it was for Mexican Independence Day. Right. It is not. That's Correct. in September. Yep. So we're using that as a as the theme. For what's cooking Wednesday this week? We're yeah. on Mexican food. Exactly. We love Mexican food. Yep. We have a lot of great options around here. Yep. It's one of the things that we miss when we go out of state. Exactly. So we're gonna share some of it with you. Yep. We've got three items. We're gonna make a full meal here. We're gonna make some burritos that aren't very traditional. They're really quick and easy. They're great to make ahead. Then we're gonna move on to something that's definitely more traditional, some Mexican rice. I like mine super simple, and it's really easy to make. Yep. It's taken me many years to perfect yeah, she, it. She does a good version. It's and good. this one is perfect every mm -hmm. time. And our final dish is a side. We're going to do basically street corn in a cup. Now, we did have the video from Monday where we highlighted that Mexican restaurant in San Diego. Yep. Maddie had a cup of that street corn. It loaded Yeah, they called theirs TJ corn. Loaded up with all the goodies and stuff, so we're going to show you how to do that too. Do you guys know what Mexican street corn is? Let's address that. Mexican street corn. I don't know if it's in Mexico. It could just be a California thing too. I don't know that. But it's all around. You find it all over the place. We have people who walk around town with a shopping cart <clears throat> and ears of corn. Ears of corn. Stab a stick in it. Usually it's mayonnaise based. Yeah, start with the mayonnaise. A coating of mayonnaise. You give it a little bit of cotija cheese. Yes. A little bit of chili powder. Mm -hmm. A squeeze of lime. Good to go. And sometimes they'll add fresh crema, yep. which is kind of like sour cream. And so we're going to combine all of that into one dish that's yep. ready to go. So no matter where you are in the world, yep. all these recipes should be easy and should translate well. They're going to be good. You could celebrate Cinco de Mayo in your own little way. There you go. All right, guys, let's get started. All right. We're going to get started with our Mexican rice. It's going to take the longest to cook. We're going to put in three tablespoons. You can either use vegetable oil, or in my case, I'm using some bacon grease. I tried it one time, and I really liked the flavor that it added. So that's what we do now. Three tablespoons bacon grease. You could also use lard, but I never have any. And I always have bacon grease on hand from saving it after cooking bacon for breakfast. Into the bacon grease, we're going to add one cup of long grain white rice. And we're going to let this cook until the rice turns kind of translucent and even a little golden around the edges. I find that the longer I let this cook in the bacon grease, the darker it gets, the better it turns out. It becomes nice and fluffy. The grains of rice don't stick together. I usually let this cook about five minutes or so. So after it gets kind of opaque, it's going to start to get really white again and then the edges will turn golden. When it starts to get golden, that's when we're ready. All right, I don't know how well this is gonna show up on the camera, but the rice has a nice kind of golden color. Check it out, a little bit brown towards the edges. That's what we wanna see. All right, the only seasoning we're adding is one teaspoon of garlic salt and a half a teaspoon of cumin. I like to give it just a minute on the heat to 
kind of freshen up and release all its flavor. Then we'll add in one eight ounce can of tomato sauce. One 14 and a half ounce can of chicken stock. We'll stir to make sure everything's well combined. We're going to allow this to come to a boil. Once it reaches a boil, we will reduce it to a simmer, put a lid on it, and let it cook for about 20 minutes or until all the liquid's evaporated. All right, next we're going to move on to our Make Ahead Burritos. In our pan, we've got three tablespoons of bacon grease again. You could use vegetable oil, you can use lard, just some sort of fat in there. To that we're going to add one small onion diced and two cloves of garlic. All right, we're going to cook these on medium till they're translucent and nice and soft. All right, our onions and garlic are looking nice and translucent and soft. So we will add about two pounds of ground beef. And we'll break this up and cook it till it's no longer pink. All right, at this point our meat is cooked. We're going to pour the grease off. All right, and we'll add our meat back into our pan. We'll add in one tablespoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon each of salt and pepper. Next is one eight ounce can of tomato sauce. One cup of chicken stock. And two 16 ounce cans or one 30, I think it's 31 ounce can of refried beans. The smaller cans this week for me were cheaper, so we went with the smaller cans. And gently combine this all. You want to make sure you break up all the beans and fully incorporate everything together here. At this stage, if you wanted to make it spicier, you could add in some green fire roasted chilies or jalapenos would be delicious. But this one's going for the whole family, so we're keeping it basic. We'll let this simmer for just a few minutes to kind of cook off some of the liquid. Make sure we find all the bean pockets in there. All right, the liquid has cooked off a bit. We're going to set this aside and let it cool before we start building our burritos. All right, our rice is done. Around the edges, you'll find that the tomato sauce kind of pulls up. Just stir it back in. This is super fluffy, not sticking together. That looks fabulous. All right, let's finish everything else up. All right, first step for our elote is one pound of frozen super sweet white corn. It goes into a pot of boiling water. You could use fresh corn here that you've grilled off to give it a much more authentic flavor, but it's not quite corn season around here, so we're using frozen. We're just gonna let this cook for about four or five minutes just to warm it all through. Then we'll strain it off and get moving on the rest. All right, our corn has warmed through. We're gonna drain it off and into a separate vessel. All right, let's move on to the next step. All right, to make the dressing for our corn, we're going to use a quarter cup of mayonnaise, quarter cup of sour cream, two teaspoons of tahini. This is a 
chili powder salt mixture that also contains lime. Delicious. Maddie will eat this plain. And one teaspoon of your favorite salsa or hot sauce. We're using Valentina. This one's pretty popular around our house. It's got a nice vinegar bite and not too spicy. We'll stir this together. Set this aside. To our corn, we're gonna add the juice of one lime. One cup of finely chopped red onion and half a cup of cotija cheese. Cotija is a very dry, crumbly cheese with a nice salt level. Mix this together. Add in half a teaspoon of black pepper. And finally, we're gonna pour over our dressing, I guess you could call it. Stir to combine. This can be served either warm as it is, or you can allow this to cool in the fridge and serve it that way. I like it both ways. All right, and that one is done. All right, next we're gonna move on to building our burritos. We've warmed up our tortillas. Each will get a nice scoop of the filling. Good handful of jack cheese. And we'll fold them up. One side over. This one's got a hole. All right, there we go. I ended up with 16 lovely beef, bean, and cheese burritos. Now, if you're going to make these to store and save for later, you would take your burrito Wrap it in a bit of plastic wrap. Into a freezer bag and then into the freezer. And then to reheat them, you can wrap them with a paper towel, pop them in the microwave for about 45 seconds at a time until they're heated through. Okay, on the burritos I'm serving tonight, I've got a pan here with some oil in it, screaming hot. I'm gonna brown them off just a little on either side. This will ensure that all that cheese inside gets good and melty. Check it out. We've got our street corn. We've got some Mexican rice. And those delicious looking and smelling burritos. Burritos. It smells so good in here. So, like I said, not super traditional burritos, but they're delicious well, that, and they're easy. In California, again, we got that Mexican influence, but then we take things in California, twist them a little exactly. bit. Exactly. Make so, them our own. Right. So, a little bit different, but it's authentic based. All right, I'm going for the rice first. Yeah. Super fluffy. Doesn't stick here. together. Mmm. I hate when I go in a restaurant and their Mexican rice has like corn 
and carrots and peas in it. Yeah. I think that's so weird. It doesn't fit. Mm. So I garnish the corn with a little bit of extra lime because I usually like to add more lime to it. That's really good too. Good crunchy mm. corn. Mm -hmm. I bite to them. Perfect level of salt. Yep. That goatee head does have a really mm -hmm. nice saltiness to it. So be careful with adding extra salt to it. And I saw you dancing around when you cut these open. Yeah, when I was slicing these, these we are might, so hot. We might not get a bite on these. Check it out. There we go. Mm. Good and cheesy. Very beany. Yep. Fantastic. I like that little bit of fry on them at the end. Just crisp them up. Helps them hold together. Fantastic. These are excellent. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you give these a try or if you guys have any sort of traditional Mexican style food you make. For all you UK fans, this is gonna be, this is way, this is gonna be foreign for you. That's true, way foreign. All right, guys, catch you on the next one. Bye. See ya.